First standing, we'll do standing ones. Let's deal with this one standing. Ooh. How are you guys doing? Hey, I hope my plants are doing well though. I hope so. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start my stretch. That's my stretching. So you do go like this. It's still on one side. It's like the, the back is reflecting. I need blinds. Should I leave it there? I leave it there for now. Thank you like this. Oh. Oh. What's your hand is like that at the back? That's a gentle pressure. Pressure. Next is then you go like this. Oh. Oh, relax. Let your head drop. Oh. Oh. Uh -uh. What happened? What happened? What's happening to the internet? Well, you found it. You found it. The paper. Okay. Yeah. You can you read it?
Let me leave this here. And bring this. Hard to see me there. Oh, my hands are touching. So hard to position it well. have been superb stay up let's see i think i can do that i can't do it let's see let me extend this stand One second. Just a little. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this goes now. Okay, I think you can see me, see me this way, yes, that, that is better for sure. This way. This way, I can hold, hold on to. This changes the front.
Now you do your calves like. Next is I'll go on the floor.
my body has been needing stretches. Lean forward and make sure your weight is on your front leg and stretch your back so that everything will go. And then you move. Do the same. Lean forward, tilt your Then stretch your back leg.
far away but I will, I will read it mm. Ooh. I admire people that have reached that ability to touch use their thighs to touch the ground like this now
my stretches. Oh my god. You can stretch your leg like this. Let me see. Got to deep stretch those so <laughs> so areas. We see you. Yes, pop. Stretches are always good. I didn't stretch before I chopped wood, and I felt it for sure. <laughs> oh, I love stretching. I don't know why. Sometimes I do forget about stretching. I just feel like, oh, let me just go do get into it, but. I love when I when I go do stretches. Yes, I enjoy my stretch for sure. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Today's a public holiday over here. Ooh, it's certainly warm, very warm. Oops. It's a public holiday. So it's a bank holiday. Let me ah. Where am I? What holiday? <laughs> Good question. What holiday? It's a Saint, like a Saint Paul's. I don't know. Some Saint. I hear those Saint, Saint, Saint holidays. Let me actually Google it now that you're asking. Some Saint holiday after St. Patrick's. Let's see. St. Holiday. What's holiday today? Holiday in, Ma in March 19th. Um, what is this? Oh, I have to add Malta <laughs> because it gave me worldwide holiday. So Saint Joseph's Day. Yeah, it, it's a Catholic country, so they do do all this Saint 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 feast of saints. From what I understood, Malta has the number one holidays in Europe. <laughs> I'm I'm not mad at that. That means one day less work. Um, Malta holidays. Public holidays in Malta. I think, I think which EU country has the most public holiday? Let me see, Austria. Wow, I didn't know that. According to Google, Austria has the number one, has the highest number of bank holidays of any European country with 12 paid public holidays throughout the year. Um, I think Malta has that too. What do you mean bank holiday? All holidays in Malta are bank holidays. And if it's I don't know, but it says Austria. I thought Malta was tying with the numbers of holidays. Austria, Japan, Sri Lanka. Oh. So number one is Austria. Number two is Japan. Austria has a... Uh, Austria also offers 25 days of statutory holiday per year 
as Christians, it's predominant religion in Austria. Christmas is a major holiday. In, it's a major holiday in Austria as the day of St. Nicholas on 6th December. There are several na additional public holidays in other states within the country, but these are the only... Gotcha! I thought, uh, definitely multi-ranks high up there. I'm surprised. It says only 12, but... Um, Malta, we have more than 12. Let's see, Malta public... We call it public holiday, not bank holiday. Anything that is a public holiday is a is a bank holiday over here. Let's see, public holiday, and it so it has. I guess I'll have to count. Fourteen. It says Malta has fourteen annual public holidays. With exception of Good Friday, whose date varies from year to year, every other public holiday celebrated on a fixed day of the year. So Malta is 14, and Google just told me Austria is 12 and is the highest. I knew Malta was high up there, so Malta is 14. We have 14 annual public holidays. Public holiday is the same as bank holiday. But then if it falls on a weekend, like a Sunday, I guess, yeah, there's nothing you can do. But yeah, January 1st, February 10th, January 1st is obviously New Year's Day, January, February 10th is Feast of St. Paul's Shipwreck, Shipwreck, 19th of March, Feast of St. Joseph, 31st of March, Freedom Day, March, uh, April, Good Friday changes, it says. So there's a day that is a public holiday. 1st of May is Labor Day. 7th June is Sete Junior. There's a history behind this. And I think also Italy. They celebrate this one, Sete Junior, which means 7th of June. 29th of June is Feast of St. Peter's and St. Paul's. 15th of August is Feast of the Assumption Day of Mary. <laughs> the day Mary went up to heaven. So it's a very Catholic country. You have to <laughs> understand um 8th of september feast of our lady of victories which is everything is mary 21st of september is independence day so this is one of the days they recognize as being independent from the british colonial regime so they, they have two days actually that they they say they uh they celebrate as independence day there's a two public holiday in a year that they acknowledge as being liberated from the british colonial empire then you have 8th of december feast of immaculate conception 13th, 13th of december public day republic day i guess republic day is same as day of independence so they celebrate those two. The Republic means being an independent country. And then 25th of December, Christmas Day. So those are the 14 days. So yeah, still, I don't know why Google said, said Austria having 12 days is the highest. When Malta, you have 14. So yeah, what's... Wow, that's cool. So what's like living there? I don't celebrate Christmas. Oh, you don't celebrate Christmas. What is it like living here? Mm, it is, it is, so I would say, how do I describe Malta? Malta is safe. Safe in the sense that you don't hear anything crazy such as um, like 
shooting, like just random shooting. There is shooting, <laughs> but not just random people you see on the street. When I, I, I hope I can use some certain words on YouTube and that, because I, I don't know how they restrict words, but there is no, like people don't just go crazy on random people on the street. If something happens of that sort, is because those two people have connection. They say that a couple, some people in business that know each other, like they don't just put on fire on anybody on the street. So in that sense, it's safe. So you're not just on the street and something, people running heta skater saying you know like just a random someone going crazy just opening fire on people that doesn't happen um i'm not saying the other one that happened then is good i'm just saying they have connections so they they specifically target who like who they are dealing with so it's not also racism there hasn't been because i'm black like you say someone just randomly came to you and opened fire on you because you're black. No. These things have happened throughout European countries, in Norway, in Germany. Uh, maybe some people are feeling like, uh, oh, their country has been invaded by black people or foreigners. There can be sentiments. Don't get me wrong. Like they don't like these people coming over to their country. But it's not gotten to the extent of being crazy. Like you just go and put someone's life down. No, that hasn't happened. Um, so in that sense, it's safe. You can walk in the middle of the night by yourself as a black person and you will feel safe. I can't do that because I'm originally from Nigeria. So that's why I'm kind of highlighting this part of how safe it is so yeah in that sense it's safe malta is very very small malta is and it's very populated for the amount of land there is so it's the high, uh, most populated country in eu um it's very yeah it's high and now the there are more people relocating here because of the sun, I mean, there is winter, but within three months, the winter is really like we are now in March and it's warm. So that's outside. It's sun out there. It's sunny. So it starts 9 a.m. There's sun now. I'm not saying. Uh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I think everything is terrible and we can't and oops yeah. i'm glad i think it's a terrible and we can't people around here do take people i like i couldn't do morning walks i couldn't do morning walks anymore people stop and flirt and bother oh flirt <laughs> flirting is a different thing <laughs> oh no no flirt especially in mediterranean countries that's normal people you're passing by Someone is whistling. I mean, when I walk by my walk with my husband, that's fine. No one hollers at me. No one, you know, do a cat calling. They call it. But when I'm on myself, yes, you see cars like somewhere. You see, you're trying to do go for power walk. I have a car, but I decide to go for power walk, and then you see a car, <laughs> a helicopter, like going around trying to get your attention or asking you, oh, do you want to live? I came out to do for go for a walk. Um, so that 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 is normal in a Mediterranean country. That's I would say if you go to places like the UK, more more Western compared to Mediterranean countries, Italy, Malta, Greece, um, Spain. These are still normal behavior as opposed to countries like the uk uk they are more way more reserved they are not as loud as you know um the vibe i think african culture is more similar to a mediterranean culture if you know what i mean whilst countries like germany netherlands 
Scandinavian countries, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, uh, Finland, um, UK, Austria. These are more, you know, they are more, they keep to themselves more than Denmark. They are more individualistic. They don't, they don't talk loud. They are very, very well mannered, you know, like, but then there, these, these people have, are more, I would say more depressed statistically they are more yeah whilst in africa everybody's in your business they want to know what's happening gossiping party you know loud we are more loud we talk we, if you don't want them in your business they will be they will force yourself themselves into they the one asking you so ah you know when are you getting married when are you having babies um the up north Europe are more reserved, you know, they don't pry into your business like that. They are too, you know, they will have to make appointment with you before they actually want to visit you, call you. They don't just pick up the phone to call you. While we Mediterranean, oh sorry, African Mediterranean people are more in your face type of style. So yes, they, you will get cat <laughs> Um Malta. Malta is expensive now, you understand? Like, yeah, I feel like because the land is limited, a lot of people want to live here because of the weather, the language, which is English. They have their own Maltese language, but also an official language, one of the official languages is English. So they have two official languages, Maltese and English. So that makes it easy for a lot of people to interact with local government offices. So you wouldn't need to like, get a translator or anything like that. So you can easily go in. It's sad to see the depression rate all over the world. So many people hurting, surf yes, suffering. Oh, I see. I, yes, I do get it. Prices are outrageous. That's cool. Your, that's cool. Your own language, yes. But I'm not. I'm not Maltese. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't speak Maltese. It's. I think I became lazy because they speak English. So I just, and I already speak English from Nigeria. So I just kind of <sighs> found it difficult to. Maltese would speak English back to you because they know that you don't speak English. And I think it's hard. I think Maltese is hard. The only people that are, they find it easy 90% of the time is people that have Arabic background. So if you are from any Arabic speaking country and you come to Malta, you will easily understand what they're saying. You will easily be able to communicate with them in Maltese. But... Yeah, Nigeria, we don't have anything similar. But I did learn some Italian. I, in fact, my Italian is better than my Maltese. And I learned it, my Italian, from here. Because uh, Malta, back in the day, because I came here like 20 years ago, we didn't have, you know, like, I didn't have t TV channels. So we only had the cheap, the basic subscription which is like six euro per month or something like that and that was what you know my mom could afford and i would i went to buy a dictionary that translated um italian to english and english to italian and i was they were i was hooked because i i liked a particular program which is all this love uh, how to find love it's a it's a version of love is blind but not quite but it's about a you know dating show and i liked it uh all these reality shows i kind of like it so i learned you know i just learned myself watch after school i'll come put on the tv around 2 30 3 o'clock the show starts and that's how i learned my most of my italian so yeah and maltese do also learn because of because people that didn't have money back then now there's internet and it's easy to have channel stations and watch everything but i'm saying back then it wasn't that affordable so a lot of Maltese actually speak italian uh, and 
I would say 10%, 15% of Maltese language is also Italian. And Ita Italy invaded, colonized, invaded Malta back in the day before the British. So there is some Italian influence. And don't forget, Malta is just 30 minutes away from Italy uh, by flight. Yeah, to f you fly down to Italy in 30 minutes. Um, and you, we, there is a boat ride as well every day to sicily yeah so it's very close by so and malta living in malta it's easy to even though it's an island there's a lot of connection to other eu countries for every day so it's you will get suffocated if you don't fly out and explore other places because there's not much much here yeah so i think that's a brief uh and it's a country where a lot of experts like foreigners come stay for like three four years and they're gone <laughs> only me have stuck i've stuck here for 20 years so imagine how many people friends i've known they came we became friends attached and then they leave oh uh, yeah i feel like i always have it somehow in the back of my mind that i'll leave but i never did we never did so yeah, that's, I would say that's a sad thing as well, because you get attached to some friends and then, you know, life takes them elsewhere. It's always seen as a stepping place, a place to kind of experience for a period of time and then move on. Because still the opportunities are in that, um, there are, there is work, but once you do that work to be able to advance really in your career like to really grow and grow and go to big corporations or even want to do business in a big way malta is still on the small side so you can you have more options obviously the bigger the country the bigger the options opportunities you will get so in that sense uh yeah you find that you lose people over the years you know they go to germany they go to uk um yeah and and uh yeah things are more expensive in malta compared to uk compared to germany compared to netherlands like electronics um yeah everything maybe because you have to ship everything down here nothing is really manufactured here so things are expensive here when you compare it to what they food groceries are expensive in malta <laughs> very very shocking but it is it's more expensive here than our counterpart con counterpart countries like countries neighboring countries like italy yes but the economy is strong malta has managed to stay on its feet it beats quite a number of countries recession didn't come close to malta like it there was recession in uk ireland i mean let's not even talk about spain greece hungary like malta but uk now have since recovered ireland recovered but spain are still struggling greece still struggling italy not back to where it used to be in terms of um the economy but malta has been very solid no recession hits malta as it did you know some other countries of course germany is the strongest in the european then you have the nordic countries they are very good good countries um yeah what did you say i saw a comment i've never traveled out oh that's sad though saying goodbye exactly it's easier when you become comfortable where where you are bills are predictable so we never seem to leave right i would never been to us uh, my husband and i he would love to go visit so i would even to move down there <laughs> he would love it i'm just open i'm anywhere anywhere we we do trips but we still do trips within uh europe you know we we'll go to turkey we'll go to italy germany 
UK. My husband is actually a British national uh, from the UK. So we visit UK. I've been to Nigeria. What else? But US, Canada, yeah, we've never been. Australia, we've never been. Um, where would you like to go? Definitely US, California, we want to visit. So that's, that's a trip that for both of us, we will have to look like 10 grand, uh, put aside at least 10,000 euros. Um, to just be comfortable, that including flight, accommodation, even if it's just for a couple of weeks. Yeah, we would love to do that. I mean, you know, in Europe, we tend to um, look down on Americans saying, oh, they never, they never travel out of USA. But <laughs> when you think about it, I have you know, pondered about this statement when I hear people in Europe thinking they are like superior because they've traveled to Germany. Like Germany is only two, three hours away from here. <laughs> UK is three hours away from here. Like Europe, is, is, it's just a few hours, like two, three hours, three hours max. Turkey from Malta is three hours max. So, but in USA, if you want to travel from like California to Texas, that's like, you know, going from or from California to New York, that's like, I don't know, six hours. So that's in size, size wise, USA is much bigger than Europe. Population wise and size. Okay, maybe I have to take out Russia because Russia is quite big on its own as well. But um, yeah, so long distance and it's going to be expensive in terms of tickets. So if an American visits uh, states within USA and says I've never been outside USA, that can be equivalent to visiting the whole of Europe and say I've been to countries. So it's, if you really look into it, it's a matter of how you look at it. Yeah. So it's not a big deal saying because you're in Europe, you've traveled within, like going, been to other countries in Europe. <sighs> yes, exactly, exactly. So if I were to go to America, I, I want to go, we want to go to America, but we don't want to just go to one state and say, oh, after one state coming back to Europe. We want to be able to go, like if we go to California, I want to be able to go to New York. And that will cost money and that will, you know, so yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, within Europe, you can go to several countries, Italy, we've been Netherlands. I've, uh, sorry, not I've never been to Netherlands. I've been to Austria, Hungary. Yeah. I've been to those countries and it doesn't mean much saying that <laughs> it really doesn't mean much. Yeah. Anyway, I've been here. Lovely, 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 Christina. Thanks for stopping by. I'm taking, you see, I'm planting. That's my plant, tomatoes. I'm growing tomatoes. <laughs> I'm trying to see how to use my sticks to guide it so it doesn't start crawling on the ground. I want it to have some kind of support. Well, New York is not very beautiful to me. California has wine vineyards. I've heard that. I've ha I know someone that um went to New York and they were like they found rats and roaches. Yes, but still saying you've been to is this State Empire Building? Is I still want to see it. New York, there's nothing you can do. Yes, I still like to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. <laughs> oh my God. Bye bye. Let's, let's call it a day. So tomorrow I'll be back. Definitely. I see what you're doing. You're really boom. I saw that. <laughs> that reminds me of, 
I had one pound tomato. Like, is that a good yield? Is one pound a good yield? I don't know how many this will bring, but <laughs> sometimes I'm like, you better bring something because you 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 take care of it for like several months and then you find two. One pound. I don't know if that's a good. I think I've grown one. Each tomato was. Oh, okay, 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 okay. How many tomatoes did you get then? I had one. Just one? Oh, we had hundreds. So you had the whole garden of it then. That's a lot. Oh. Oh, so you, you have more than what I had. This is just. Ah, okay. Oh my God. This is just. I have just four four sticks or stocks how do you call that i have just four so i'll probably have what so you have a garden you know what you see that's good you have space to grow like to plant stuff we don't have we just have i'm just trying to buy pots and put tiny things here and there i just you know i wish i could but yeah in malta it's not that easy you need to be rich to get a land or you know everything i'm having to buy you know yes i'll show this year much love sister doing good thank you thank you so much have a nice rest of your day enjoy thank you for stopping by arrivederci according to the italians it means bye bye Bye.